and we were off and 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 you can have conversations and i think i, I yeah i you know it's such a difficult thing but i think you know being being genuinely interested in how somebody is and 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 having conversations with them um and being aware of of what sort of places there are to help people so you can signpost people in the right direction if they if they need assistance because yeah. there are a lot of places that you might not always be the best person to. to get you might be the you might be good for listening but you might not necessarily be the best person for the advice yeah absolutely you know? and, and 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 being a mental health first aider isn't about giving mental health advice mm -hmm. it's about pointing people in the right direction to get that qualified right. advice i yeah. i don't claim to be a you know a qualified you know mental health nurse or or, or whatever I, mm -hmm. I, I i i wouldn't i wouldn't you know wouldn't, wouldn't claim to be that but but i but i am kind of trained in being able to point people in the right direction and say well you know there's there's places here you could go to or or have you tried you know calling that or at least you know have you ever thought about speaking to other people about it? just trying to encourage people to talk mm -hmm. i think that's the, the the key thing um and and just look and, and looking after I think the other thing that, that you have to do in, in, in this environment, um, which is what they call the, um, the, you know, the oxygen mask analogy, you know, that idea that when you get on a plane and they do the safety talk, they always say, you know, if an oxygen mask falls down, put your own one on before you help anybody else. Um, and it's a really simple analogy and it seems really obvious. But but when you think about it in terms of self-care, I think it's really important to look after yourself because if you if you can look after yourself, then you're going to be in a much better position to mm -hmm. to help other people, and that's where you know cold plunging every morning comes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think yeah. this is a before before we wrap this up. This is the one last thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, this whole thing about co having a conversation and the mm -hmm. value within these conversations yeah, yeah, yeah. for for each other. Um, and how the value to our lives that the conversations can bring out is, is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Yeah. For me. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I've seen you're also doing a podcast. I am. Yes. Which I've, I've listened to the first two episodes yeah. and really enjoyed. Yeah. Good, um, good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Spread your wings and fly, mm -hmm. which is, um, it's a podcast. Uh, the idea being that, um, that I speak to, uh, former members of the, the Phoenix theater school, who are now working professionally in the industry. Um, and we have a conversation about how they transitioned, how they managed to, to make that, that move from being a student into working professionally in the industry. We have a little bit of a conversation about what their favorite uh, piece of theater they've ever seen is, and, and, a, and a conversation around what, what, what favorite memories they have of, of being a, a student at Phoenix. But it was really driven by the fact that I was aware when I'm